A heart-stopping rescue captured through Sky 4. Jacksonville Fire Rescue workers going high up to bring a man down from this tall structure at Blood Island. They are strapped together as they're lowered down about 10 stories. This final moment where the man rescued gives a wave before he heads to the hospital. Jacksonville firefighters worked more than an hour to bring that worker to safety. They did, and since then, we spoke to JFRD about the special team involved in rescues like this. This map shows where it happened on Blunt Island. Take a look, near the river's edge. And News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell is following the story for us. And this was an intense mission. This is what they trained for. That worker dangled from a blue crane like these behind me for about an hour. Take a look at this video from Sky 4. It shows a man placed on a stabilization harness being lowered to safety. A spokesperson with JFRD says that worker was in a lift. You can see that dark blue piece of equipment next to the crane. When it appears, an elevator came down and hit it, trapping it and the man. A little before noon, the department got the call and sent their special operations team in response. They stabilized the victim in what they call a half back to lower him down bit by bit. I'm told they took their time to be extra cautious. After they got him to a lower level, they were able to, to put him in a basket, which I'm told is even more stable. And after a little more than an hour, he was lowered to safety on the ground. You can see him on the stretcher giving what looks like waves of gratitude before being loaded into an ambulance. And he was taken to the hospital to be checked out, but I'm told there are no major injuries and that worker is expected to be okay. Live from the north side and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station. And it's just really incredible to watch these experts in action. What kind of resources does it take to pull off a rescue like this? Well, in the video, I counted more than half a dozen rescue vehicles. You can also see people up there on the crane. I'm told it takes a lot of manpower because you have to have people up there. You have to have people on the ground. And then you have to have enough workers for an entire backup operation just in case plan A uh, doesn't go right. All right, Ann Maxwell reporting to us live. Thank you, Ann. And tonight we will post video of this rescue on News for Jacks Plus and newsforjacks.com. It will be inside this story on our homepage.